about time. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, D.L. Hughley, you know, he has his own radio show so he can express himself the way that he wants to with this ongoing dispute between him and Monique. It all started with Monique saying she was supposed to headline the show, and this was in Detroit, and D.L. Hughley ended up uh, headlining the show. Both of them were posting contracts and deal memos and going back and forth. But here's what D.L. Hughley had to say about Monique and the things that she had to say about him. You wrote your contract, you and your daddy. You, 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 you proceeded to say things that were so patently insulting that, that you, it, it, it was galling. You, 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 you ask in subsequent conversations why I have a dog, a support dog, what kind of person has a support dog. I have that dog because my father died, my children and family decided they would get a dog from where he was from, and I named the dog after my father. I don't have a dog to keep people away from me. I have a dog so I have my father with me all the time. That is an act of love which you know very little about. You proceeded to assault my sexuality. You have the temerity to assault someone's sexuality, a man's sexuality, given who you lay next to. None of that had anything to do with alleged contact contract dispute. You could have taken that up with a lawyer. He posted from queen of comedy to queen of ashes, straight no chaser, what really went down Saturday night with Monique. And so those were some of his comments of what he had to say. He also said that he hasn't seen Monique in years. He said she hasn't once talked to me. I didn't see her at the venue before, after, or during. And he just didn't know why she was upset about a contractual dispute and why she would get on stage to talk about him, his wife, Steve Harvey, his family's support dog, and more. So don't talk about no man dog. Man, shut, shut up, up man. Envy. <laughs> you so mad, Envy. I mean, Gucci said you got a it's, punk ass dog. You still it's okay to on talk about his wife. <laughs> I'm talking about his dog. I'm joking. You, I don't think you're joking. joking. You and that punk ass dog. You Envy done my, killed so many dogs. You, I don't even know what this is about. You right leave now. my punk ass dog alone. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about Star Wars actress Moses Ingram, and she's talking about the racist threats that she has received after the debut of Obi Wan Kenobi last Friday. Uh, she said. She's gotten several racist threats and comments from certain Star Wars fans. One person wrote, your days are numbered. You're a diversity hire and you won't be loved or remembered for this acting role. Here's what Moses Ingram had to say. There's nothing anybody can do to stop this hate. And so I question what my purpose is and even being here in front of you saying that this is happening. I don't really know. But I think the thing that bothers me is that like sort of this feeling that I've had inside of myself, which no one has told me, but this feeling of like, I just got to shut up and take it. And I'm not built like that. So <laughs> I really just wanted to come on, I think, and say thank you to the people who show up for me in the comments and the places that I'm not going to put myself. And um, to the rest of y'all, y'all weird. <laughs> they are weird. And that's uh, according to a post from... Uh, the Star Wars Twitter account, they said, we are proud to welcome Moses Ingram to the Star Wars family and excited for Reva's story to unfold. If anyone intends to make her feel in any way unwelcome, we have only one thing to say. We resist. So back in 2020, John Boyega also addressed the toxic Star Wars fans. He tweeted, toxic Star Wars fans still find their way to my mentions. Lord, must I be blunt? I don't F with you no more. And they also had removed John Boyega from the poster in China. They said it was due to racism. A lot of people were saying that it was due to that. And so in a previous interview, John Boyega had some words of advice for Disney when it comes to their black actors. He said, what I would say to Disney is do not bring out a black character, market them to be much more important in the franchise than they are, and then have them pushed to the side. It's not good. I'll say it straight up. And so uh, that is the story of Moses Ingram mm -hmm. with Star Wars. Are y'all Star Wars fans or not really? No, nope. I don't know anything about it. Not I, even a little I, bit. I watched, I think, one back in the day. I, I, I was never into Star Wars or Star Trek. I just wasn't my thing. Nope. I like Star Trek a little bit, but I ain't no Trekkie. People Trek be head. so mad if you confuse Star Wars and Star Trek, too. I do it on which, purpose which one just is the to hand? piss off Which one people? is the hand one when they do the hand thingy, Majiggy? Star, Star Trek. That's Star Spock. Trek. Spock, when they do yes. the hand. I thought that was Mork and Mindy. 
All right. Now, NBA star Jalen Brown has signed with Kanye's Donda Sports. <laughs> so congratulations uh, to him. Okay. He was recruited by the agency for his intelligence, social activism, charitable work, mm-hmm. and obviously for his talent in basketball. So it looks like they are really building this out. They also signed NFL star Aaron Donald. Um, earlier this week, they announced that. And Big so- signings. Big signings for any sports agency. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. All right. Thank you, Miss Yee. Uh, Charlamagne, who are you giving that down to? Man, four after the hour. Can we talk about something that the FDA, uh, you know, uh, ac- actually didn't approve of? And that's four loco. Okay. Actually, we're talking about drunk driving, but we'll discuss it all four after the hour. All right. We'll can't get believe that. it's still people out here drinking four loco in 2022. I know. We'll discuss. I thought it was illegal. That's no, what I thought it's too. It's still so. It's still so. I see it all the time. In, in Forty-nine gas states. Stations, we'll discuss. All right, we'll get to that next. And also, ask ye. If you want to get on the phone lines, you need relationship advice or any type of advice, get on the phone lines right now, 800-585-1051. Ask ye is up after the uh, donkey today. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 